What is up, guys? Welcome back to another awesome episode of Railroads Online. My name is Evil One, and today I'm joined by Tidmouth. Say hello, Tidmouth. Hello. <laughs> All right, so today uh, we're going to be doing some more track building, I think. We're going to head up to uh, Tidmouth's town that he made several episodes ago that you all got to name. We are planning on building a route from his town to the coal mine, which is on the other side of that hill right there. And so we're probably going to have to do some scouting and some some track planning and then just start building track. What do you think, Tidmouth? Sound like a plan? Yep. Perfect. All right. Uh, let's head up there then. We're planning on ex extending this track. And again, that uh, coal mine is that way, I believe. So we'll probably just start heading off uh, this way with it. But I'm, f I'm for one, definitely going to go scout it and maybe uh, do a kind of meet in the middle kind of a thing yep. or something. So uh, but before we do that, uh, I want to tell everybody what we named your town here. Well, there, there's a couple of suggestions in the comments uh, from my friend No Snow. Um, and there's also a bit of a discussion on the Evil One server, link in description, if I remember. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, now, I, I, I'd said in the video I'd considered naming it Hill Valley, because um, I'm a fan of Back to the Future. We've got the Back to the Future train now. Um, but we thought it's, it's, Hill Valley doesn't really describe the terrain that we're that we're in um so we had a few ideas back and forth and then we settled well i, I suggested emmett hill which you seem to like so i think we're gonna go with that yeah emmett of course is the first name of doc brown and emmett, emmett brown and it's a i think it's a it's a good name you know it's kind of obscure it's not 100 percent back to the future and it uh but it is you know so i, I like it I like it a lot. I think it's very fitting. This Putting the brake. Yeah. Nope. Nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it does not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That doesn't look good. <laughs> Alright. Well, I am going to scream up to the coal mine. And start working my way this way I guess I'm gonna try and get uh, let's see what's the best way to describe it I'm looking at the map there's a little bit it looks like a kind of a cut in the side of the mountain I know it's a pretty tall mountain but I'm gonna try and come through there somehow um, we'll see how it how it works but I'm gonna start there probably at the high point and work my way down to Tidmouth so Does that make sense yeah, I think I think I can see. So I'm going to be going along that sort of like cliff edge. Uh, which cliff edge? Are you talking about directly to the south of the coal mine, or? So, yeah, so like directly uh, west of us. There's like a little bit that pokes down, and then there's sort of a very thin green bit that goes along the edge of the mountain there. Okay, so you want to go that way. Okay, I was I was thinking about coming. If you look uh, directly west of the logging camp and south, just a little bit, it's kind of like wrinkly. Mm. It's got some some mountains there. Um, actually, let me go fly up there really quick, and yeah, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, is the path down there? 
Uh. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's quite interesting. Um. <laughs> We're going to find out that you're on a completely different level of this cliffside. Yeah, probably. <laughs> well, I'm just coming around the corner and I'm very much not on the ground. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like yeah, that. we're... <laughs> wow, so either you... <laughs> you either have to... I'm at zero. I've been at zero since the coal mine. So... Yeah, I've, I've not gone down at all, so... Uh, it might... I'm just thinking about the further route. It might be better if you came down. Yeah. But... Three percent curve. Oh, that looks tight. No, I don't. Think, I don't think. <laughs> I see you up there. I'm on the train, well below you. Yeah, there you are. <laughs> oh, it's nice to actually see you for a change. I'm gonna go back to the uh, yard and configure up a, a good mixed train. Apparently the whistle goes from rather rather than like slowly being able to hear it in the distance, it just goes from being silent to full volume. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did toot that pretty quick. I mean, I can Is that better. I was more, more talking about the distance I was away because I was running towards you and I was hearing nothing, oh. nothing, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> thinking about taking eight of these flat state cars uh, the um, coal hoppers one of the cordwood cars we'll have to buy a box car let's see what else do we need I think that's it yes <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll get we'll, we'll... What, what, uh, what 
what number do we want? Oh, good question. Now? Let's see. It'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Was that new? I don't remember the, uh, be... the white stripe on the box car. That'll be nine, I believe. Oh yeah, that white stripe, that's kind of cool. Like frost on the top. Or no, no, it's it just didn't render for a second. Interesting. Yeah, I believe that's gonna be nine. Are we starting at nine hundred or nine hundred and one? Uh, I kind of did a mix, as I forgot. So. <laughs> nine hundred it is. <laughs> a little bit further. About half car forward. Check out this loading. To me, it was a crane sound a bit different. No, and it sounds the same to me. I'm just misremembering then. All right, while that's doing that, I'm gonna set our route. Hopefully, I get it right this time. Let me know when we are ready, please. Perfect. All right. Break off, reverse was forward. Give it all the throttle. Next stop is the sawmill. I don't know if it's related to the, the far viewing distance, but the popcorning seems to have been really bad again lately. Oh, really? Yeah. Let me try and turn that down. Uh, vehicle view distance set at 100. We're going along with tenders, like, <laughs> occasionally just glitching into the cab. Oh, no. I feel like this last update, they kind of broke a few things. Trying to fix others. I don't think I've seen those signposts before. Oh. I kind of made a little bit of a key right up here. The cranes aren't equally spaced. So the, the rail sign is lumber and the, the flange sign is beams uh, for when you're lining up to the cranes. Oh, the, uh, <laughs> the lumber wagon's derailed. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see what's happened. There's like an extra there's like a little narrow gauge track in here now. So that must have spawned oh. in derailed our wagon. Oh, I love it when they add things like that and don't have it in the notes. Bummer. Might still be able to get it in here. Make it look like a, a dual gauge section. Yeah, there we go. So, so now we've got technically got a, a three foot sixteen gauge bit of track here. <laughs> nice. I'm um, setting the track for our trip to the mine and then to the smelter. They must have like changed the hitbox around here as well, because there's like almost like a force field like holding me back in certain places. <laughs> really? Yeah, you can't, oh, like, weird. You can't walk through. You can walk through the sides, but you can't walk through the front. <laughs> oh, that's strange. 
super helpful. Yes. All right. Looks like we're good. Let's nice. Yeah, going back to the popcorn, I had somebody in the comments on my last video, like saying like. Why are the trains jumping about so much? I don't see that on anybody else's videos. <laughs> well, they're clearly the host. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the host, it's nice and smooth. But uh, clients, man, I, I don't know how you guys actually do it. When I when I go on other people's maps uh, to tour them or whatever, it's it's super hard for me to make it into a video. Yeah, it's definitely better than it was. Like I've got clips from way back on the Rambling Railroad, just like trains doing backflips as they go along. <laughs> like... Right. Of course, all my markers are now way off because we have a bunch of wood flat state cars. You got two cars. Oh car. boy. <laughs> <laughs> Is that good? Yeah, I can get one of the shoots. <laughs> Kind of nerf the like the, the cheaty method of doing it quickly just because of the extra weight they've had to do. Oh no, really? You can't just slide I mean, it up and down, I mean, bounce it up can, and down. But it's it's a lot slower. <laughs> uh, right, one ahead. Fully loaded. You have right away. All right. Versus Ford's break off. Here we go. Extremely safe practice of running along the top of the wagons as they're moving. <laughs> <laughs> we'll offload this iron ore at the smelter and then we'll have to probably back up around a, a loop to load up. Oh, you know what? We didn't grab enough flat state cars. No, we didn't. Okay, well, that makes it a little bit easier then. I know that they're back there a ways, but... I want to go blasting past them here. Uh, about two cars away. Interesting there. The, uh, the river is like glowing with the light on it, but the uh, oh weird. The underside of the bridge is this <laughs> correctly not in light because it's been blocked. Huh. That's yeah. That kind of looks weird, huh? I was probably like what, two, three a.m. at this point. <laughs> 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 Yeah, what time is it? Let's see. It's uh oh, it's at, it's about 9:30. <laughs> okay, it's not too late then.
Look, guys, let's whistle more. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> There it comes. <laughs> Old school Yogg's cast jokes because nothing on my channel is original. <laughs> <laughs> We're coming up to uh, Emmett Junction. I don't think we need to stop here, right? Yeah. There's... We're not passenger service, so... This is all untested track. Somehow made my game actually in windowed mode. I think I pushed the wrong button. I'm driving a train right now. I don't want to mess with it. <laughs> Like doing a wheelie. <laughs> <laughs> well, so far we're doing okay. Slowing us down a little bit. Oh wow, you uh. Yeah, I really had to go out. <laughs> I see that. But on the plus side, I didn't have to cut down any trees, so I was just having to loop around the wall. <laughs> so I did leave this really big and open, just in case we wanted to build like a. A rail yard or maybe a town or more industry or something like that up here mm -hmm. if the people so are inclined nah, I mean it makes sense to have some houses up here because the miners wouldn't want to travel all the way from like every day Yeah, it's a long wagon ride uh, to get up here, I'd say. Leave first thing in the morning, it'll be about midday when something gets here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, further and further away from the rail. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, these are all perfectly in line, but yeah, it's not. <laughs> right away. We're good? Alright. Break off, reverses forward. Full beans. Alright. This is all going to be brand new track you've not seen either, right? Yes. Cool with the wheat farm if you can actually like draw out some like big uh, like fields. Fields? Yeah. Hey, we're gonna slow it way down here because I think at this first switch we're gonna try and back into that switch. So we need to stop with the back of the train just past it. Piece of farm equipment looks like it's going to foul the uh, boxcar. Uh oh, really? Oh, it, ju it just. <laughs> so uh, you're about to come up to the steepest bit of track we have on the accidental death and dismemberment railroad it's at seven and a half percent but it's very short <laughs> <laughs> i need to remake this loop 
Um, I, it was pretty late at night when I made this, and I was like, I was done with it. So, uh, yeah, I this little bit that you're coming up on right now is very steep. I'm actually going to break a little bit here. Lose the boss color back. <laughs> <laughs> well, it should make the farmers very happy to get their seed. They can start planting their fields. The heck of a deal they worked out with us. There you go, that's all you get. Wow. It's not very much. Okay, now we gotta drive forward and pick up. Uh, we gotta put wheat in that boxcar and uh, straw from that elevator onto that uh, um, cordwood car, right? Uh, I don't think the farms actually produce anything yet. <laughs> oh, they they should. They should. Yeah, I can see the thing ticking up, it's quite slow. Well, that one boxcar of seeds has uh, not gone... Uh, really? There's like... We've got three bales and three units of grain. <laughs> oh no. So that must be a really high ratio. Oh, that elevator goes right through the cab of the locomotive. That uh, straw elevator. Good, lined up? Yeah. Flood is three grain. I <laughs> uh, should have put a. Uh, if we open up the box, the side of the box car. There it goes. Yeah, I should put a uh, wood thing in here to protect, to keep it from coming out. Still shake a pack of seeds in there for me. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Two cars. One car. Half. Quarter. Oh, I'm stopping. Is that good? Whoa! just saw this uh, bale go flipping through the air back there. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> it makes the, the chuffing noise that the sawmill makes. <laughs> huh. Nice. Oh. Well, it said, oh? There was, it said there was three, but it's only given us two. <laughs> oh, no. So maybe that one that went flipping out to, <laughs> didn't land in the wagon for some reason. Oh, that's sad. I'm coming back to take a look. I want to see what they look like. Because the bell have left the bell behind, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they fixed that. I know they mentioned the doors. Uh... Maybe it was the whistle lever or something like that. I don't remember now. Who knows? <laughs> see my big bridge up there, though. <laughs> Oh, yeah. It's like somebody's building a stadium on there, they just see, like, the frames. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll unload your super heavy cargo from the back. <laughs> yep, we have $15,284. We'll, uh, see how much that makes us. Probably gotta slow down a little bit, huh? Yeah, you still got, uh, like, nine cars, you know? Yeah, don't unload the coal. 
done <laughs> all right fifteen thousand three hundred and twenty four dollars fortunately i don't remember what i said before so i'll have to do the the math in post i'm wondering if the coal wagon's are far enough away for me to be able to do the lumber first oh oh yeah we didn't think about that do we Well, if we got to back up, we can back up. Not a big deal. I'm going to slow down some. Yeah, this is a super short platform. So many design choices with this game, I feel like they did it just to wind everybody up. <laughs> like, <laughs> offset these platforms slightly so you can't do it properly. It's Make this one. I think, I think the the coal mine they actually fix that offset. If I if, when I put that uh, track down, I'm like, hey, it's not weirdly you know off offset anymore. Oh, so. Right. You know, slowly lurch forward here. Oh, it's gonna be close. <laughs> run, run, run! <laughs> I feel like playing some playing the harmonica right now. <laughs> I think we're gonna stop. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that's my job. <laughs> Now, honestly, I don't know what line we're going into. We'll just kind of play it by ear. Uh, um, should be the one where the boxcar came out of. <laughs> oh, yep, you're right. Touched the switches since then, so. You are absolutely right. Probably going to be slightly too long for this siding, aren't we? <laughs> Probably. That's all right. We'll just pull up to the end down here and set the brakes. We have $17,304 now. I'm thinking that we should buy another locomotive or two. Yeah. Well, I mean, we know the next one's going to be rewards. Yeah. I hate to jump right to the end, but I was thinking about doing the Lima as reward. Just I mean, for the, the, the yeah, the Lima's a lovely loco. Just for the pulling power, to get up that three percent if we had to go that way. All right, here comes reward. Ah, oh, check area. What? That might be because you're standing on the track, maybe. <laughs> oh, I'm hoping that this platform's not too close for the. Um, Wouldn't have thought terminal so. there. Push comes shovel, move risk out of the way. Oh, that's that's a good that's a good shot actually. I, I was going to suggest um, number six be a, a shunter. We could have a pair of shunters called push and shove. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, yeah, we could do that. Okay, let's try this again. Check area. Maybe it's trying to put it where risk is. I'll, I'll move risk out of the way so we can at least get it in. <laughs> I'm, I'm worried about this platform if the platform is too close. Because it should mm. put it right here. Now you're going to have to type out uh, all the stuff on the lever for a third time. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Oh, 
Wish I could type out accidental death and dismemberment. It's alright. AD seven D. Oh that no, I can't do that on a locomotive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yep. Hey! There it is. A little bit derailed. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why I wanted you to check the area, because the, the loco spawned slightly off the track. <laughs> oh, cute. Yeah, look at that. Okay. So now we have 9,704. You can easily afford the 060 uh, chunter. Okay. Here comes push. Nice. Oh, it went in front. <laughs> I was looking behind, expecting it to appear. <laughs> I was like turning my camera away and then looking back again. Just like, hey, it's magically appeared, but it's in front. <laughs> uh, so I really have not looked at this locomotive at all. I have to check it out here. Uh, it's purple, very purple. Yeah, I kind of wish we had some wow. more color options with it. That headlight, the reversing headlight is right in the way of my head. Let me match <laughs> Yeah, my head's like stuck in the in the light. That's cute. Makes oh, it a little is, bit hard to. There. there was a couple of updates ago. The headlamps were both like invisible. They weren't there at all. Oh, nice. Okay, so now we have six thousand. We need to buy shove. What should shove be? Uh, well, we're gonna have to move stuff before we can get it anyway. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. But. Well, I was I was firing up rewards. Uh, we have pressure yet? No, not even <laughs> uh, let's see, it's got to be another shunter, right? I mean, you can get ruby in red. I guess that's a shunter, isn't it? Alright, are we ready to order another locomotive? Are we out of the way? Yep, reward's clear. Hopefully Here comes clear. Shove. Really haven't looked at this one either. I like it. Yeah. We got the ruby in red. Do you want me to wait for you before reversing back, or let's go? No, no. I, I'm just running ahead to set switches here. I think that's going to do it for this episode. 
please remember to hit that like and subscribe button if you uh, haven't done so already. And if you feel inclined to hit that thumbs down button, please do me a favor and drop a comment. Let me know what I can do to improve. And so, <laughs> I mean, if they hit dislike, they're probably not this far into the video. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, you're, that's true. Got to say it anyway, right? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> So we also have our event coming up on December 2nd, uh, and it's going to be starting right around 8 o'clock p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. I know that's kind of an off hour for some people, uh, but like Tidmouth is in the U.K. and Millsy is in Australia. We have players from all around the world, so if you can't make it, you can't make it, uh, unfortunately. So with that being said, Mil uh, Millsy, Tidmouth, do you have any... Oh, I'm Millsy. I'm here now. Hello. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> Do you have any parting words of wisdom? Well, just the uh, the usual pleas to like and comment, and uh, people watching on Evil One's channel, if you you know want to see some stuff other than Railroads Online, I do post other games as well. Uh, currently playing through the new Tintin game, and I've got some other stuff in the pipeline as well, pushing out some uh, clip dumps because I've got a load of stuff clipped up. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, I was uh, uh, thinking about picking up a different kind of genre of game as well. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you have a wonderful day. We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. Bye. Let's um let's save the game. Cause that's important. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we're gonna make it uh daytime again. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately I don't get to experience that. I'm always in the menu. Uh I don't get to <laughs> <laughs> So you gotta leave that in the video for me so I can actually see what you saw.